And y'all come up real quick. Come and get them pictures real quick. Come and take a lot of pictures. Anything you need to take, take pictures now. Get video of it. Make sure you pay very close attention to this word, okay? Um, I'm Marshal Yohano for Israel United in Christ. Uh, we teach the Bible. That's, the, that's that's all you need to know is we teach the Bible. Right. We're not no fake preachers in, in the churches that are going to teach you the Bible. We're going to teach you the Bible and answer your questions. Right. Let me ask y'all this. Uh, do y'all go to church? Yes, sir. Y'all do? Okay. So, in church, do they teach you your nationality? Or do they teach you who you are? Not really. They don't? Okay, okay. Let me let me teach you. Come on, give me Deuteronomy seven and six real quick. Let's start there. Bring it out. Because we're gonna teach you directly out the Bible who you are according to the Bible. Right. Because a lot of people in Christianity will tell you that everybody's the same, that we're all one people. Well, in the Bible it doesn't say that, and we're gonna prove it right here. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven and verse six. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. He said, For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. So we're saying thou. That's very uh, specific and possessive, okay? It's not talking about everybody. This is the time where Moses was bringing the Israelites out of Egypt. Y'all remember that, that story about how he brought them out of Egypt? The Red Sea, right? Okay, cool. Read it again. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, y'all familiar with that? Israel? Read it. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. So God chose these people to be special. All right, keep going. Unto himself, above all people. Hold on, say it again. Unto himself, above all people. He said above all people. Go ahead. That are upon the face of the earth. So there is no equality in God's eyes. God said these people on this sign right here, which if you look at this sign, let me see where you're at. Uh, what would your father be? Would he be a so-called African American? Oh, you said native? Well, yeah, everybody black. I'm black. Yeah, so everybody you're on this sign, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. so he's talking to you. All right. So if your father's on this sign, you're on this sign. Cause you you come from your father. Go ahead. You the Lord, for thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto Himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right. So God, you heard it from the Bible yourself. God said he told one special people to be his. He's not dealing with any other nation. 18 nations are listed in this Bible. He chose one to be special and above everybody else, okay? Right. And the problem the problem that I have is, go to Isaiah 56 now, is that you're not being taught this in your church. Bring it up. I was in a church for 28 years, never knew none of this stuff. And that's a problem. Because in this Bible, we should, if we say we love God, we should look to this Bible to get all the answers and, and learn how to live, right? But we didn't get that in church. I'm pretty sure you didn't get it either. I'm going to read this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 56 and verse 10. His watchmen are blind. He said his watchmen are blind. Speaking about these pastors in the churches. Because a watchman is supposed to watch over you and make sure that you're, that you're okay. They're the one that's supposed to teach you the laws out the Bible. We'll get you that next. But your pastor is supposed to be the one leading you and telling you how to walk according to what God says out this Bible. Read it again. His watchmen are blind. He said a blind watchman. What's the point of a blind watchman? He's supposed to be watching out for you and he, and he can't see. How's he helping you? Yeah, yeah. Keep going. They are all ignorant. They're ignorant. They have no understanding. Go ahead. They are all dumb dogs. They're dumb dogs. That's what they refer to as. Go ahead. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. He said, they, they will say it again. They don't, they don't bark. They cannot bark. They cannot bark. So, for example, do y'all have a dog? Yeah. Okay, so if you have a dog and y'all are all asleep and somebody comes by in your house, what's that dog supposed to do? You better bark. You, you, he's supposed to bark, right? Bark. Now, what if that little, what if the person comes to your house and the dog just looks at him, doesn't say nothing, he's playing with the robber, licking his hands and everything, and then you wake up and everything in your house is gone. You lost everything, right? Yeah. What you gonna do with that dog? Time to go, right? You're useless at that point. But that's what he's saying about these pastors that's in these churches. They're not teaching the laws of God. The laws of God is what's going to keep us, and it's going to, to put us back on top to like what God said from the beginning. Keep going. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yay, they are greedy dogs. They're greedy dogs. Tapping your pockets every time you come to the church. How many offers are going on in every single church? about two or three every time and then you got to pay your tithes on top of that right. which is not biblical because tithes was was uh your crops according to the bible right. always has been That's keep right. going yeah. 
which can never have enough. They can never have enough. They need that. They need a, uh, that that pastoral anniversary, and they had to have the the big vans or the nice Cadillac cars for the preacher, and and, the, and his wife got to have it too. The kids got to eat too. They're gonna pass it on to the kids to keep it in the family. That's how churches work. We understand that. Keep going. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They cannot understand because they don't have the knowledge. They wasn't given the knowledge. Now, give me this real quick. Go to um, Deuteronomy 28. Now, I'm going to show you your, your nationality because that's the very important part. Now, once I get your nationality, we're going to teach you repentance to how to come back to what God told us to come back, I mean, told us to do. All right? Because we fell off for a reason. Get uh, 28 verse 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said, it shall come to pass, meaning it's, it's going to happen. That's what God is saying. Read it again. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. So if we listen to the laws of God and, and obey him, go ahead. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So God said if we listen to the commandments that are in this book, that we're going to be on top of every other nation on this earth. Now, just like, just like with, if you got a child, if you do something, you, if you tell them to do something, they're going to do it and then, you know, you reward them. Good job. But if they don't do it, it's going to be a consequence, right? That's the way God works because he's our father. Read verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. If I don't, if you don't listen to my words, that's what God is saying. If you don't, if you don't wash the, uh, wash the car or cut the grass like I told you to, go ahead. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said we're going to be a cursed people. He's going to put curses on a specific group of people. And I see you looking at the signs so we'll get right to it so you can know that you are an Israelite according to the Bible. Go to verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It says your sons and your daughters shall be given unto another people. Now, when was our, pe when was our children given to another people? Where did it say it? Never. You said it never happened? I'm talking about our people specifically. Oh, I mean, I'll when were our children given to another people? There you go. Say yeah, it again. I mean, yeah, 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 Look at these signs right here. That's what it happened, right? That's history. You can't, you can't debunk that. Go ahead. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So, y'all seen Roots? Remember when Kizzy was getting sold to the plantation and the mother was crying because she had no power to get it back? That's what it's saying right there. It's talking about the same exact thing. Finish it up. And there shall be no might in thine hand. But she couldn't get her back because she was property. She couldn't do nothing about it. We, had, we didn't have that power to do, to get her back. All right, give me verse 41. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. For they shall go into captivity. Now remember, this is the Bible talking. The same Bible that you have, that you read in churches, this is the same thing that's always been in there. He said, your children, the children of Israel will go into captivity, will go into slavery if they didn't keep the laws of God. All right, that's the whole point I want to bring home. All this can be found in the same book that you've been reading all your life. But your preachers do not bring it out to you. There's a reason why, though, because like I said, they're greedy. They don't, want you, they don't want to keep the laws of God. They want to be ignorant and keep on doing what they want to do. Now give me verse 68. Verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Are y'all listening? He said, I'm going to bring y'all into Egypt again with ships. So he said, we, remember, we had just came out of Egypt. Remember that? So read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. All right, so Egypt, give me um, Deuteronomy 5 and 6. The word Egypt has a definition. All right, the word Egypt has a definition. We're going to get that for you. We're going to go back. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5 and verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Because remember, he just brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. What does Egypt mean? from the house of bondage so egypt means bondage now go back real quick i know y'all about to go last verse right here y'all just listen to this and the lord shall bring thee into egypt again with ships 
by the way wherefore I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So he said he's going to bring us back into captivity, but this time on ships. Where the sound of the ships? We got it right, right over there. Right here, yeah, right here. We came over here on slave ships, right? The same way the Bible says it's going to happen. But the most important thing is, listen, y'all are Israelites according to the Bible. You have to repent and come back to the laws of God. I see you got the flyer. Make sure that you check out the number. Check out the uh, YouTube, my brother. Especially you because you're the head of the house. You're the leader. All right, so we need you. We need men to come out and take these, take our neighborhoods back. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.